Hi guys, David here, and welcome to another part of the Rattray Killer Bee CNC building series. Uh, as you can see, uh, I'm already very progressed and not sure exactly what I filmed, uh, but there's an enclosure now, which is uh, amazing. Uh, I planned this enclosure from the very beginning. Uh, it was um, like modeled up everything and ordered all the extrusions for it together with the kit. Uh, this way I could uh, shave, save on some shipping cost. Uh, the design uh, for it is based on the uh, laser uh, enclosure that further fabrication built for his uh, DIY uh, laser uh, cutter and uh, it's basically exactly uh, the same uh, design just uh, with different dimensions of course. Uh, it's also where I copied the design for the uh, little gas struts here that are keeping the lid open and stuff like that. At this point I also want to give a big thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. They make super high quality PCBs at a very affordable price and have their fourth PCB design contest going on. You can design your own PCB, submit it there and win one of many amazing prizes. So no matter your experience level in PCB design, if you're interested at all, make sure to go check out PCBWay.com to find out more. So as you can see, uh, it's based on just 2020 aluminum extrusion uh, with uh, corner brackets and then panels uh, bolted to the outsides. By bolting it uh, to the outside, I have still full access uh, to everything uh, inside and can like do stuff like mount uh, these little gas struts and stuff like that. It also gives me access to uh, mount LEDs uh, on the extrusion and all everything like that. And speaking of LEDs, uh, they are uh, wired up uh, in series, uh, two of the strips, uh, since uh, I'm running on 24 volts. They, uh, Two of them are in series and there's another uh, two uh, that under here. These two are always illuminated when the machine uh, is powered on and then once the lid uh, closes uh, these two are also illuminated. Uh, this is just so that when it's open it's not uh, blinding you uh, and distracting you. Uh, there's just a little uh, switch here uh, that gets activated uh, by you closing the lid. The holders uh, for these LEDs I uh, 3D printed uh, out of some ABS uh, PETG might also be fine, but I wouldn't recommend uh, PLA since uh, they do get uh, quite warm. Uh, same with the uh, uh, switch mounting here on the side. For the electronics compartment, I just made a very simple uh, door uh, where I added some uh, PC fans uh, in there, also uh, hooked up in series uh, to be able to run them off of 24 volts. And uh, just like emergency switch, power switch, uh, stuff like that. So at this point I am almost uh, done with this machine, uh, all the major components are working, uh, I have the sp spoil board uh, screwed down to the table, I adjusted the uh, supports uh, underneath uh, so that they have the same spacing as the holes that were already in the T-slot, uh, this just meant that I did not have to drill any extra holes and for the little uh, MDF uh, waste board I uh, set up uh, some stop locks in, in my mill which is also my drill press uh, and uh, just uh, drill these holes really quickly one after the other. They are all in the exactly same place uh, which made assembly a really breeze. And, and it's a slight exaggeration it still took a, like almost an hour uh, to get the spoil board all on there but uh, it was not because the holes weren't lined up. Some things that I still uh, need to do is uh, the whole dust extraction. I have uh, the enclosure which is going to uh, keep everything inside of here, but I still, uh, for the, especially for cutting stuff like wood, I really do want a good dust extraction uh, to just manage that before it gets all over the linear uh, ways and everything. Uh, I have most of the components for that, I just need to find the time and uh, come up with a clever solution. Also have some plans of adding some really cool laser gadgets onto this mill which is going to uh, enable some even more uh, cool stuff but that's also more of a future plan. Other than that I'm going to go uh, into detail on testing this machine, uh, see all the materials it can cut, how fast can you uh, cut and uh, make a very detailed uh, kind of review video of the Rattrick Killer Bee as I think it's a really uh, great uh, CNC for the price point and has a lot of potential. Now you don't have to build a huge enclosure and super fancy setup uh, like I did uh, but even just with a simple uh, like computer hooked up to it uh, running some gerbil controller uh, with no enclosure this is a very capable machine uh, that I have great hopes for. So I guess this would be a great point to ask you to subscribe so you don't miss any of those future uh, videos. Uh, 
might take a little while uh, for those to come out since university is in session and I'm quite busy and have a bunch of other projects as well, uh, but I'm doing my best uh, to get that out to you soon. I've also done the first test cuts. I uh, cut out a little uh, back panel for my Voron 3D printer as I wanted a different one with some more ventilation holes. And it works great. I of course have some more tuning for the cutting parameters to do and I also want to order some uh, nicer NMLs probably from Daytron uh, to really uh, get the most out of uh, this machine. But I'm very happy with uh, the first results. Uh, didn't break any tools and it was actually usable. And with that, I think uh, it is time uh, to end this video. I'll put the little video clip of me doing the first cuts on this uh, mill after this. So with that said, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions, suggestions. Also, if you want to see anything in that final uh, review video, uh, any special questions for that, leave them down in the comments and I will um, include that in the review. So with that said, thanks for watching and until next time. Thank you.